Hey, it's Ben here, and here in this video, we're going to have a look at scrubbing on the timeline. So basically, we're going to have a look at two different types of scrubbing. One is audio scrubbing, and one is video scrubbing. The audio scrubbing, when it's turned on, will basically allow you to hear your audio as you kind of move along the timeline. And normally, that's the first scrubbing that I like to turn off. So if we're looking to turn scrubbing off, then it's in this little options toolbar on the right-hand side, um, just below our inspector, and we can turn off the audio scrubbing by clicking this little waveform with a line through it. And we can also use Shift and S to toggle it on and off. So that turned on will mean that you hear your audio as you scrub through. And with it turned off, so Shift and S, will mean that you don't hear your audio until you actually start to play your video, which is the normal state that I prefer to work in. The other scrubbing bar, and this is the, the kind of most useful one, is the video scrubbing bar. And that basically allows me to skim through my video and also skim through different titles and videos up at the top left here. So with audio scrubbing turned off, what else can we kind of do with scrubbing? The first thing to note is that when we're actually working with scrubbing, the playhead that's red here, so the playhead that we're scrubbing with, actually overrides the white playhead, so the location that you drag or pause your video at. So what that means is that if we decide to, for instance, use one of the tools, such as the blade tool shortcut, which is Command and B, and if we do that with the red bar here, so Command and B, it's actually gonna slice at this red bar rather than at the white playhead. So if I intended to actually slice at the white playhead here rather than at the red bar, then I just need to pull my playhead away from the timeline and then do Command and B, and that will then slice my video at this particular point where I've positioned my playhead. So that's one important thing to note. We'll just do Command and Z there. The other thing that it can be useful for as well is adding titles or videos to your timeline. So if I come to my bumper and opener titles here and my basic title, then you can see if I'm scrubbing along here and I wanna add a title at this particular point, I can tap Q and it will add a connected title to my clip wherever that red bar is. So if I press Q again here, it's gonna add another title. And the same for video as well. So if we come to our library here, we'll come to our videos and we'll just grab this video here. If I tap Q, it is gonna add that video that I have selected or the range of the video. So if I tap the R key and select a range here, then basically if I do Q now, it's gonna add that range of selected video to my timeline. It's gonna add it wherever that red bar is. So the other thing that we can do as well, which is useful for titles, is if I'm scrubbing and I want to add a title, say across this intro part of this video here, I can come to the beginning, I can tap I to mark an in point on my timeline. I can move along and press O. And then if I come back to my titles and my basic title, come back down to my timeline and tap Q, it's gonna add a title within that range that I had selected. So you can see here this works for video or for title. So I and then O and then Q and then also for video I and then O. If we wanna add a specific range of B-roll, then we can come to our video here. We'll select a different video, come back down to our timeline. So this is highlighted yellow and then press Q again and it's gonna add a video to the timeline with that range. So a couple different spots where the red scrubber bar is useful. I tend to leave the audio scrubbing off. I find it just a bit annoying. I don't need to kind of hear that scratchiness of the, the audio when I'm playing back through my clips, but certainly adding these titles and video onto a connected storyline using the Q shortcut and the I and O shortcuts is useful to kind of speed up your edit process as you're trying to add clips or B-roll above your main storyline. So lastly, one thing we can also do with this is we can delete sections of our timeline. So if I scrub along the timeline here to a certain point, I can mark an in point tapping I, I can mark an out point tapping O, and then press delete to delete part of my clip or forward delete on my keyboard will then leave a slug in place there as well. We can delete that slug. So basically again, I and then O and then delete and that will allow you to kind of remove chunks of your video, add clips, above the main storyline within a range that you want and also add titles as well within a range that you want. And you can see I have the basic title selected here, but if I come back to my titles, I can really select any title and add that to the timeline by using that shortcut. So the Q shortcut will kind of bring down any timeline to the range that we have selected. Hope this is useful, a little overview of how to use the scrubbing tools and how to turn on and off the scrubbing tools in Final Cut Pro. If you have any questions, then please do leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next video.